Running Sensor here today. Um, today I'll be doing a quick review of the Aller, I think it's pronounced Allertec uh, DVD CD Disc Repair Plus Cleaner. Um, this is an automatic cleaner. Um, it actually comes in like a little, almost like a mini old CD player that you used to carry with you back in the day. Um, what it comes with is two cleaning pads, uh, the cleaning solution, uh, a repair. Uh, pads which I have in here right now. Uh, the repair solution. Sorry, I'm trying to focus here at the same time. Uh, well, that's the solution. And then um, two um, buffing pads for like your really, really bad deep scratches. Um, so I'll show you how to use it real quick. Um, if you can see here, I have a copy of Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. Um, and if you look at the disc itself, let's see if you can see here, it's got some scratching on there. Uh, you can see it around here, it's really dirty. So what I'm going to do for this one is use the repair solution. There's a, a dry, dry side, wet side. So what you do is you take the repair solution, you put three dabs on, one, two, three. Okay, zoom in there for you. So I got the solution on there. Um, there is a microfiber cloth that came with it. So I'm just going to give the CD a quick wipe, get any dust, because the dust can actually scratch the disc more. Put it on there, close it, and you press the repair button. And with that, the disc starts cleaning. It takes about two minutes. Um, I'll just give a review of the actual cleaning part of it. If you have like uh, any just dirty discs, this works really well. It's got in there, if I could open it up here in frame, it's got one that's got like a little uh, reservoir in there so it can keep some solution in there. It says to fill it to 80%. But I only like filling it a little away because some of it can evaporate. Um, as far as the cleaning goes on it, it's a really, it, I mean, it's really well, it works really well. Um, the only downside of it, I'll show you here in a second once this one's done. Uh, as far as minor repairs, like light scratching, you know, anything like that, from it works pretty well. I tried a, a CD that I had that used to skip on me and it fixed it. Um, I think this uh, repair solution, it uh, fills in the scratches almost like a, I, don't, I wouldn't call it like a wax or anything like that, but kind of like a, I don't, I don't know if it's like a polish, but uh, it, it fills it in pretty well for your very minor scratches. Uh, I tried a CD I had with very, very deep scratches and it didn't work as well. So in the manual it says to use the the pink pads but I'll show you what that did to my disc after this one's completed two or three times to completely remove all the scratches and then the one thing you don't want to do afterwards is run it through the cleaning cycle with the cleaning solution because it will um, take everything of the repair solution off the disc and you'll be back with a scratch disc come on repair cycle finish already killing me And this can get annoying because you know you're sitting here for two, three, four minutes at a time, and you sometimes you have to run it through two or three times. Um, it says you get about 20 cycles out of it. Okay, we're done here. And this is what it came like out afterwards. Um, I might not have put enough solution on this one, but um, let's see, wipe it off here. Yeah, I think I went a little easy on the solution. As you can see, it's a little bit better. You can still see some of the scratches. Sorry, I got the glare from the lights in there. Uh, I'm gonna focus here. Um, not bad. It's better than it was. Like I said, this one would probably have to be run through two or three more times. Um, but it would probably make the disc playable. And 
I mean, there's still some scratching down there, as you can see. Um, but the pink pads is really what messes up the discs. This is hard to see because it's a PlayStation game. But I'll try to focus here. Okay, sorry about that. Ran out of uh, memory card on the other card. So continuing on. Um, if you can see here, this is somewhat of a better view. It completely swirls the entire disc. There you go. You can see that. Completely swirled the entire disc. And after running it through the repair mode with the regular uh, yellow pads down there, it didn't fix it at all. So as long as you're not using the heavy duty pink pads, um, you should be alright. Um, so all in all, I would give this maybe like a 6 out of 10. Um, it would be higher if the pink buffer pads that helped with the deep deep scratching worked a little bit better. Um, but again, this was only like $35 on Amazon. So if you're using it for just like general cleaning purposes or removing light scratches, I highly recommend it. Um, the only downside is you only get so much use out of each of the pads and the, uh, the refill kits are like $20. So at that point, it's, it, it can get expensive. So I'm sure you can probably use other refill kits from another company if you can find it cheaper as far as, you know, the solutions go. Um, but the pads are only made for this. So, you know, if you have a lot of discs to clean, it's worth it. You know, it saves you some time. Um, but if you're just using it for like one or two discs, you know, it's not worth it. You're better off just getting, you know, a handheld one or something like that. So this is my review of the Alleratec DVD CD Disc Repair Plus. Um, any questions, go ahead and feel free to leave me a message down below. Uh, as always, rate, like, Comment, subscribe, whatever you want to do. All right, thanks. Have a good one.